Indications of good people with hidden agendas. 12 signs a nice person has bad intentions. We often hear the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. And this couldn't be truer when it comes to assessing people's intentions. It's not always easy to discern the true nature of someone. Especially when they appear to be genuinely nice and kind. Unfortunately, some individuals may hide their sinister intentions behind a facade of friendliness. In this video, we will explore 12 signs that can help you identify when a seemingly nice person might have ulterior motives. 1. Excessive flattery. Nice people often give compliments, but someone with bad intentions might take it to the extreme. They may shower you with insincere praise and compliments, trying to manipulate your feelings or gain your trust. Be cautious if someone's flattery seems overly calculated. 2. Inconsistent behavior. A person with bad intentions might exhibit inconsistent behavior. They can switch from being charming and friendly to distant and rude without apparent reason. This inconsistency is a sign that they are not as nice as they seem. 3. Over-the-top generosity. While genuine acts of kindness are wonderful, over-the-top generosity can be a red flag. Someone with bad intentions may use extravagant gifts or favors to create a sense of obligation, making it difficult for you to refuse their requests in the future. 4. Isolating you from others. Be wary of individuals who try to isolate you from your friends and family. A person with bad intentions might do this to exert more control over your life and manipulate you more easily. 5. Manipulative language. Pay attention to the words they use. A person with bad intentions may employ manipulative language, making you feel guilty or obligated to comply with their requests. 6. Always the victim. Nice people typically avoid playing the victim card excessively. If someone frequently portrays themselves as a victim, it might be a sign they are attempting to garner sympathy and manipulate your feelings. 7. Emotional manipulation. Watch for signs of emotional manipulation, such as guilt tripping, emotional blackmail, or using your feelings against you. People with bad intentions often employ these tactics to get what they want. 8. Inconsistent stories. Liars often struggle to keep their stories straight. If you notice inconsistencies or contradictions in their accounts of events or their life history, they may have something to hide. 9. Obsessive need for control. Someone with bad intentions may have an obsessive need for control in all aspects of your relationship. They may want to dictate where you go, who you see, and what you do, which is a clear sign of manipulation. 10. Lack of empathy. Empathy is a fundamental trait of nice people. If someone consistently demonstrates a lack of empathy and disregards your feelings or needs, they may have ulterior motives. 11. Secretive behavior. Be cautious of individuals who keep many secrets. While it's normal to have some privacy, someone with bad intentions may be hiding crucial information or actions that would reveal their true character. 12. An ongoing pattern. If you notice a recurring pattern of deceit, manipulation, or negative behavior, it's a strong indicator that this person's seemingly nice exterior is merely a mask for their true intentions. Assuming everyone has bad intentions is not the solution, as it can lead to unnecessary mistrust and isolation. However, it's essential to be discerning and aware of the signs that may indicate someone is not as nice as they appear. Trust your intuition, pay attention to inconsistencies and manipulative behavior. And always prioritize your well-being and safety when evaluating the intentions of those around you. Remember, it's better to be cautious than to be deceived by someone with ulterior motives hiding behind a facade of niceness. If you found value so far in this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel, it will be appreciated. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Portraying oneself as a victim can serve various motives. And it's essential to recognize that not everyone who presents themselves this way has the same intentions. However, some common motives for adopting the victim role include 1. Manipulation. Some individuals use the victim card as a tool for manipulation. By casting themselves as a victim, they may seek sympathy, attention, or assistance from others. 
This manipulation can be used to gain advantages, whether emotional, financial, or social. 2. Avoiding responsibility. Portraying oneself as a victim can be an attempt to evade accountability for one's actions or mistakes. It shifts the focus away from their role in a situation, making it more challenging for others to hold them responsible for their behavior. 3. Gaining empathy and support. People who portray themselves as victims may genuinely be going through difficult times or experiencing hardship. In such cases, their motive may be to seek empathy, support, and understanding from others. They may not be consciously manipulating but rather seeking assistance during their struggles. 4. Justifying actions. Some individuals use the victim role to justify their actions or behaviors. By positioning themselves as a victim of circumstances or other people, they may believe that their choices and actions are justified, even when they may not be. 5. Creating a power dynamic. In certain cases, portraying oneself as a victim can create a power dynamic in relationships or interactions. This may be a way to control or manipulate others by making them feel responsible for the victim's well-being. 6. Attention-seeking. Seeking attention is a motive often associated with portraying oneself as a victim. Some people thrive on the sympathy, care, and concern they receive from others when they play the victim, even if their claims are exaggerated or unfounded. 7. Self-pity. For some, assuming the victim role may be a manifestation of low self-esteem or self-pity. These individuals may genuinely believe they are constantly facing adversity and that the world is against them. 8. Avoiding confrontation. By framing themselves as victims, people may hope to avoid confrontation, criticism, or conflict. They may use the sympathy they receive as a defense mechanism to shield themselves from judgment or negative feedback. It's important to approach individuals who portray themselves as victims with empathy and understanding, as they may indeed be struggling with challenges or difficulties. However, it's equally crucial to maintain a healthy level of skepticism and discernment. As some individuals may use this role for manipulative purposes. In any case, open and honest communication can help uncover the underlying motives and promote healthier, more authentic relationships. Dealing with individuals who exhibit negative behaviors, such as manipulation, portraying themselves as victims, or other forms of deceit, can be challenging. Here are some actionable steps to respond effectively when you encounter such people. 1. Set boundaries. Establish clear boundaries in your interactions with the person. Make it known what behavior is unacceptable and what the consequences will be if those boundaries are crossed. 2. Maintain emotional distance. Keep your emotions in check when dealing with manipulative individuals. Emotional responses can sometimes be used against you, so maintain a calm and composed demeanor. 3. Practice active listening. Try to understand their perspective and feelings. Active listening can help you gather insights into their motives and concerns. However, maintain a critical perspective to avoid being manipulated. 4. Seek clarification. When you notice manipulative or deceitful behavior, ask for clarification or additional information. This can help reveal inconsistencies and potentially deter them from continuing their negative behavior. 5. Avoid escalation. Avoid getting drawn into confrontations or arguments. Maintain a constructive, solution-oriented approach rather than engaging in power struggles. 6. Empathize with caution. While empathy is essential, be cautious about offering support and empathy to manipulative individuals. Verify the authenticity of their claims and consider whether your assistance is genuinely warranted. 7. Maintain a support network. Share your concerns and experiences with trusted friends or family members. They can provide emotional support, advice, and an external perspective on the situation. 8. Document evidence. If necessary, keep a record of interactions, messages, or incidents that raise red flags. Having evidence can be valuable if you need to address the issue with others or take legal action. 9. Direct communication. When you feel comfortable doing so, address the issue directly with the individual. Express your concerns and request clarity on their motives. 
Be prepared for potential denial or deflection. 10. Involve a neutral third party. If the situation doesn't improve and the behavior is affecting your well-being, consider involving a neutral third party, such as a mediator, counselor, or HR professional, depending on the context. 11. Limit contact. If the negative behavior continues and is causing you harm, consider limiting or ending contact with the individual. Your well-being should always be a top priority. 12. Self-care. Practice self-care to maintain your emotional and mental well-being. Engage in activities that reduce stress and anxiety, such as meditation, exercise, and spending time with loved ones. 13. Asterisk asterisk trust your instincts, asterisk asterisk. Trust your gut feelings. If someone's behavior consistently raises red flags, it's important to prioritize your safety and well-being. Remember that every situation is unique, and your response should be tailored to the specific circumstances and the nature of the negative behavior you're encountering. In some cases, seeking professional advice or legal assistance may be necessary. The key is to strike a balance between empathy and self-preservation, and to respond assertively while remaining respectful and considerate of the person's perspective when appropriate. Protecting oneself from individuals with bad intentions is crucial for maintaining personal well-being and safety. Here are some tips on how to safeguard yourself in such situations. 1. Set personal boundaries. Establish clear boundaries for what you are comfortable with and what is acceptable behavior in your interactions with others. Communicate these boundaries assertively and be prepared to enforce them. 2. Learn to say, no. Practice saying, no, when a situation or request doesn't align with your boundaries or values. Don't feel obligated to comply with requests that make you uncomfortable or compromise your well-being. 3. Trust your instincts. Pay attention to your gut feelings and intuition. If something doesn't feel right or if someone's behavior raises concerns, trust your instincts and take them seriously. 4. Seek support from trusted friends. Share your experiences with friends or loved ones whom you trust. They can provide emotional support, offer insights, and help you gain a fresh perspective on the situation. 5. Limit personal information sharing. Be cautious about sharing personal information with individuals whose intentions are unclear or appear to be manipulative. Protect your privacy and avoid revealing sensitive details to those you don't fully trust. 6. Verify information. When in doubt, take the time to verify information or claims made by others. Don't take things at face value, and ask for evidence or additional details to ensure accuracy. 7. Maintain independence. Maintain your independence and avoid becoming overly reliant on someone whose intentions you are unsure of. This can help protect your autonomy and reduce vulnerability. 8. Seek professional guidance. If you're dealing with a complex situation involving someone with questionable intentions, consider seeking guidance from professionals such as therapists, counselors, or conflict mediators. They can provide valuable insights and strategies for dealing with the situation. 9. Legal support. In extreme cases, where you feel your safety or well-being is at risk, consult with legal authorities or seek a restraining order if necessary to protect yourself from harm. 10. Self-care. Prioritize self-care practices that promote your physical and mental well-being. Engage in activities that reduce stress, enhance your resilience, and maintain a positive outlook. 11. Educate yourself. Educate yourself about the tactics and strategies manipulative or deceitful individuals might use. Understanding their methods can help you recognize them more easily and respond effectively. 12. Maintain a support network. Surround yourself with a supportive network of friends and professionals who can offer guidance and assistance. When dealing with individuals of questionable intent. Ultimately, protecting oneself from individuals with bad intentions involves a combination of assertiveness, vigilance, and seeking support when needed. Trust your judgment, prioritize your safety and well-being, and be proactive in addressing any concerns or red flags that arise in your interactions with others.
If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Don't forget to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.